uh, you know, we've been obviously having a lot of success in the connected car business. We're now up to over 12 million uh, cars that are connected by AT&T around the world. Uh, we're growing that at over a million cars per quarter right now and continuing to scale. Um, you know, we've got, we're up to, uh, I think we've got over 22 announced uh, global brands uh, that we're working with. And, um, and one of the interesting things that we're trying to do is that, uh, you know, there's a lot of services coming out of the car, right? You've got the, the automakers are wanting to be able to get updates off the car and be able to update the car uh, over the air. Um, similar to what we do with smartphones, uh, that's finally, you know, beginning to be real. Uh, they're wanting to offer some of those basic, you know, safety, security, you know, services, remote, you know, services like, you know, you know being able to turn on the car, uh, to be able to warm it up, cool it down, that type of stuff, uh, locate it. Uh, but then they're also getting into a lot of these higher bandwidth services, you know, like streaming internet radio, you know, real-time mapping, Wi-Fi hotspots, and um, and as you as we you know add on more and more of those services. Uh, you know, there's certain services we can provide globally uh, with just our, 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 our current, what I would call permanent roaming and our global SIM, but if we're getting into Wi-Fi in the car, for instance, those are, you actually need to have a different type of relationship with, uh, with, with carriers around the world to be able to support those types of solutions. Uh, and so that's one of the interesting things we've done with, with Bridge Alliance, uh, where we've uh, announced that um, we've got, you know, working with Bridge, we're going to tie off uh, their service delivery platforms into uh, into our IoT gateway that allows auto companies to write code basically once to us, uh, and then we'll we'll then deal it into the different backend systems uh, to be able to you know, provision those cars and be able to, to manage those cars uh, on a global scale. And so uh, so the nice thing is we've got a, a technical integration going on with Bridge, uh, you know, with the platforms, uh, and a, again a commercial agreement with the Bridge members to support retail connectivity in the cars. And so you know, our our goal here is we want to be able to support you know auto companies around the world, uh, and um, and we were basically uh, stitching together the the fabric of of, uh, of of partners you know around the world to be able to make that happen not just on the wholesale side but also on the retail side. Yeah, I mean this is really the, you know the automakers are seeing the real value of having these cars connected and connecting them immediately coming you know off the line um, and being able to get you know real time information off of that car you know as as well as even think about it you know you know taking it even from you know production you know into actually the just getting it to the lot uh, for sale you know being able to be able to track that and, and, and know information off of it and then you know, continuously learning because if you think about how did cars get fixed in the past well it would break down you know it'd show up at the shop it would get fixed and and then they'd start collecting this information about a lot of breakdowns and then they'd be able to take action well now you're getting real-time you know information off the car and its performance you know, you can you can react much more quickly uh, and, and get, get in front of a potential issue as well as potentially update these things over the air and save save the servicing uh, you know experience overall and so I think there's a uh, you know more and more we're getting into this I, I think the automakers are seeing the real value of having that real-time information you know about about the car and, and the ability to communicate and update that car and what I always like to say is that you know for the first time the car actually is not the best on day one it's it can actually get better over time just like we're used to in in, in and smartphones.